Welcome, viewers. Today's specimen is a Northwest male, another refugee from the culture vacuum in the center of the continent. An interesting man deserving review, this one stands out among the species, clearly different. A clever creature, he invents when tools are lacking. Augmenting his appendages as necessary. He has an atypical way of clothing himself, oddly haphazard yet sometimes fitting with his surroundings. His style and cleverness, of course, attract the attentions of the opposite sex. And he excels at the sports of his people, even inventing new activities such as one-on-one -on -one horseshoe football. When he wins, he is not afraid to show his pride. Bluster aside, he's still sensitive to his fellows, providing support and stepping aside to cheer on others, and always willing to share a drink with his fellows, often coming well-equipped to do so. When tired, he must retire to his throne. Overcome with exhaustion, he will take the throne stance in any place that is suitable. At times, there is a unique gender confusion, as when he cares for the young, this gender ambiguity inevitably leads to some confusion, as evidenced by these bizarre methods of care. Though he does excel at some non-typical gender roles, such as the preparation of food, sometimes donning the clothing of the opposite sex during preparation. And at times, this confusion is highly evident. But observations show there are times when he is at peace with the world, as when among his tribe. And here he goes again, on his own, walking down the only road he's ever known. Like a drifter, he was born to walk alone, but he's made up his mind. He's not wasting any more time, because he's 40.